So, if you guys don't know, we're about to have a live event on Call of Duty, the Battle of Verdansk. 90% uh, sure there's going to be some kind of PvE opponent for us to fight. Uh, they said in the patch notes or in some kind of thing that they want us using, or they recommend using the C-58, the AK-47, and the Fara. So, these are the three guns that I threw on. Um, they're... I'm always excited when it's new Call of Duty season. Even if I think they should have gone more advanced warfare route or more different, you know, different game than a World War II shooter, I'm always excited for the new Call of Duty trailer. So here we go, boys. We get to see it in the event. This is gonna be fun, man. This is gonna be fun. All right. Okay. So the sky's different. That's for sure. So everyone's a teammate. Every. Okay. So it's gonna be all 150 of us, or I don't know how many people they got in here. Doesn't really say. It's gonna be all of us against what like a train is it gonna be the train will it be some airplanes um okay so we have to like place okay so it gives us an ak-47 and an rpg i'm guessing we need to place um explosive devices over here right oh so we're gonna try and collapse the tunnel on it i'm, I'm assuming that's what we're doing okay so definitely definitely a german train if they've got Gustav Cannon, no way Gustav Cannon would actually fit in that tunnel. Never mind. Alright, so I was partially right. It's basically like the train from Solo, a Star Wars story. You know? All the gun, gun turrets on it. Stop detonating your C4, you idiots! It's coming! Stop! You're doing it too early. Is it gonna shoot back or no? Is it gonna be one of those things where it just kind of doesn't do much? I mean, I'm not seeing anyone take damage. Okay, this is gonna be really easy, isn't it? Oh, so you have to specifically aim for the turrets. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so someone is dying. So yeah, so it is possible to die. <laughs> Where am I getting hit from? I love it. Alright, alright, alright. This town here ain't big enough for the both of us. No. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. I, I don't wanna die. Right. Yo, everyone is dying. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. stop. Okay, so there's like only one more with health, right? Is that, is that what it's saying? I'm so confused. Wait, okay, so they're all gray on top. But a second ago, one was red. I, I don't know. I don't exactly know what's going on. All I know is that we're shooting at the thing and it's a lot of fun, so. Train fires explosive rounds. Who the hell came up with that? Who came up with that? No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Wait up. I'm trying to catch up. Who the hell got a cluster? This doesn't make sense. It, it, there's no way a train is clustering itself. It is It is suicide clustering. This is nuts. Can, can I... Can, can we not? Can, can we stop? Stop, please. No. I, no. I'm, I'm, I'm too young for this. I don't want to die. Please. I, li I lied when I signed up for World War II. I'm actually 16. Please, no. Front? There's no way that killed me. There is zero chance. Z the probability of my truck bumping into it and killing me. Z zero. Damn it, I'm gonna have to slow that down. I don't think those were... Okay, train destroyed. We won. Alright, show us the trailer now. Come on. Come on, show me the trailer. Oh, sick. Bro, World War II bombers are just so cool to look at, man. There's nothing cooler. Although the graphics on that one did not look very good. Holy crap. Okay, where are we going? <laughs> where are we going? Dude, they would be dropping their payload if they were trying to kill us, and we would be- Okay, never mind, they're dropping their payload. Okay, this is pretty dope. 
Oh man. Okay, yeah, that makes sense that I would get stunned from this. This would stun me if I was if they exploded near me. Waiting for X kill. Okay, please don't. Please, I, I don't deserve this. Yeah, no kidding, they can't get to us. How are they going to get through this? <laughs> what? This event makes no sense, but it's so cool. Okay, so I, I died, right? I finally died, because I should have died there immediately. That is a... I can't tell if that's a car 98 or a moss in to the left. Sometimes, the only way to put out the flames. Definitely a sniper, though. I heard the campaign is going to have an emphasis actually on sniping, which I'll explain in a minute. This is already a huge improvement over World War II's entire campaign. Yes, we're going to the Pacific! Thank God! Thank God! You have no idea how much this game was ride or die on it. Mm. North Africa too, okay. So this is what World War II should have done. I mean Oh, look at that sniper. Yeah, so she's gonna be important to the campaign. I'll explain who she is in a minute. Or at least who I think she is. She's kind of an urban legend, actually. Pacific. Yes, dude. Yes, that looks so good, man. The Pacific is slept on in World War II. It's so much fun. Airplane combat's gonna be great. Shermans. As a history, like, fan, this is sick. Oh, the dive bombing, too. Hmm. That was a... Uh, oh, I forget what that gun's called. Yeah, I think it was called the Sten in Advanced Warfare, but I'm forgetting the real-life name. Oh, man. Guy looks like Alex from Modern Warfare. Dude, that looks so gorgeous. Holy crap, that's uh, a little dramatic. Okay, you're you're gone. You're gone. If this is a part of the campaign and he lives, I'll be very disappointed. Okay, it's... I'm really hoping that he dies in that campaign because... Okay, November 5th. November 5th. Okay. So, here's what I'll say. The biggest flaw I had with the World War II campaign is two things. First of all, it was so generic. Like, the World War II campaign was literally, like, any war story you've ever heard about World War II. So, let's think about it. Okay, so Guy has girlfriend at home. She's, like, uh, I, th I think she was pregnant or something like that. Leaves behind his family as a young man to go enlist. And the campaign picks up at D-Day. He's got his friends. They go to the beach. A bunch of his friends die. And throughout the ca campaign, a bunch of them slowly die. And they're all about, like, honor, duty, and all that kind of stuff. And then they win the war, and he goes home. Like, what, what World War II war story hasn't been that? The other thing that killed it for me was you have no, like, in World War II... It was not just Americans versus Germans. There were so many different parts of the war that were important. Yet, in they, they only focus on the Americans and the Germans. Like, we were only there for, I think, like the last four years. I mean, there was a lot of stuff that went on beforehand. There were a lot of other people involved. And the Pacific was a huge thing, and they just never addressed it. Uh, World at War did. World at War did a great job, fleshed out all the sides, and made it really fun. So it seems like in this game, they're going to be doing a much more jump-cut perspective. And then the reason I said snipers will be important in the campaign is uh, there was a war zone cinematic change where if you get a win, uh, I think it was in Rebirth, uh, randomly this sometimes as you go up on the uh, attachment to the helicopter, this Russian sniper girl will shoot you and you won't make it. You'll still get the win, but it's just a nice little cinematic thing. 
Uh, they also showed her in that trailer, and they had a lot of emphasis on snipers. If I had to guess, I'm forgetting the name of the person, but there's like an urban legend uh, among Russians that basically there was a female sniper during World War II, and they didn't have a lot of female. There were not women like in World War II normally. It just wasn't a thing. Um, but so she was uh, a female sniper, and I believe she had like 700 confirmed kills or something like that. Like it was an insanely high amount. They they called her like Lady Death or. There was some kind of, they, they have some kind of really sick nickname for her. Um, but I watched the whole thing, and I believe she was at Stalingrad was the big one for her. Where she ended up taking up a position while the building was, or while the city was getting taken out. And ended up taking out a ton of Germans, like a ton of Germans. So, she, I'm 90% sure that's who they're trying to display, or they're trying to put in the campaign. Uh, but besides that, I mean, just seeing the Pacific and the planes and the, the ships, that was sick, bro. Because World War II, bro, people sleep on the planes and the and, and the boats and all that was so cool, man. And I get it, like, the tanks and the ground fighting was sick. But, like, the war in the Pacific is one of the coolest conflicts in, in the world's history. Like, it's so happy that they're putting that in there. Uh, Sledgehammer always does snipers right, too. I mean, I love Sledgehammer. They always give us good guns to use. I mean, they, that's just what they do. So, my hope is that that trend continues, uh, as it seems like it will, considering the fact that snipers were a heavy, uh, heavy influence in that trailer. But, yeah, I mean, that's all I really gotta say. I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, that looked good to me. Uh, then again, I always get excited when I first see these, and then sometimes I pick up the game, and I'm like, eh. Uh, Cold War was one of those games where I was super, super excited, and then I picked up the game, and eh, you know what I'm saying? But Modern Warfare was the other way around. I, I got super excited, and it turned out really great. So, we'll see. It's on Modern Warfare's engine. As you guys can see from that trailer, it looks a lot more Modern Warfare style rather than Cold War style. Uh, but I really just cannot wait. I'm going to go pre-order it right now. So, yeah. That's it for the video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.